in Viva Las Vegas. I want you to answer this. Who goes on to Saturday? The Pelicans or is it the Lakers? The Pelicans. That means the Lakers will be going to it because we're in Vegas and he never wins in Vegas. <laughs> Man, you had that nailed, Chet. <laughs> Trying to tell you the Charles hey, Barkley Jay Bruce Moon. is real. Jay Moon, stop it. I just want to thank Charles Barkley for <laughs> guaranteeing. And there you go, the, uh, Charles Barkley. No, hey. he never hides from his picks. Never. Uh, As, you. Uh, we welcome you inside the NBA. It's presented by Kia. Coming to you live on a beautiful Las Vegas night after uh, two semifinal games in the books. Chuck, do you ever win in Vegas, man? We'll find out in about 45 minutes, <laughs> including oh, man. this. Not only did you miss on the Pelicans Lakers, it was the biggest blowout of the tournament so far. Yeah, that was ugly. 44 point uh, difference. He wasn't watching the game because something happened in the green room. I'll never tell, <laughs> but it was the funniest moment <laughs> oh, I in know. green room history. I, it, it was planned. Oh. Let, let me tell you this. <laughs> oh my jeez. When you, hey, hey. when you, when you, when you, when you're at the table and you go hit it, and then and then, and then Bill will just be going. <laughs> yeah. hey. Yo, Mr. Barkley, that's man. a 19. Hit it. Be quiet. I'm trying hey, to get closer hey, to 20. If the dealer got, if I see a face card, I assume he's got 20. If I got 18, I saw it in a movie one time. Um, I'm going to get that three. Uh, it must have been a bad movie. <laughs> All right. Hey, let's look at the highlights, shall oh, we? Oh, no, please don't. No, no hey, it's, it's, a quick, it's a quick edition of the highlights. As uh, I told you, he's ready to Zion play. center stage in this one, but hey, look at that move by Zion with Stop the fire. Yeah, it's just a putback. Ernie. Stop it, Ernie. Hey, Ernie. Ernie, we can all make a layup. You like your enthusiasm, but stop That's it. That's right, Ernie. <laughs> hey, hey, Jack, tell him we can all make layups. Yes. We're, anybody in the NBA can make a layup, Ernie. Stop hyping it up. LeBron for three. LeBron for three. He scored their first 11 points of the second quarter to erase the New Orleans lead, and the Lakers had the lead for good. You know, Kenny talked about this before the game. LeBron has always been able to seize the moment and as he just took over the game for that stretch. It was 67-54 at the half, and then the Lakers just put the hammer down in the third quarter. You know what's amazing? What is amazing? Look, the oldest guy out there look like the youngest guy. Out there. Sure do. Flying up and down the floor. He's probably the oldest. He's the oldest out guy by far, probably. And he looked like he was the youngest. It was amazing. Look, Darvin Ham used to guard him, <laughs> but he was playing. <laughs> and he's coaching him now. So Ron points. only had to play 22 and a half minutes tonight. He scored 30. And get a hold. Get a hold of this. First time he's had 30 points in under 25 minutes first time in his career that's amazing he's had 30 points in under 25 minutes the 541st 30 point game of his career that's amazing you know i have a question for shot because you said this early you said this could be a statement for zion to let him know hey i'm coming i want to ask you this question though who was the guy when you said i'm gonna try to do that to and you couldn't do it. Two of them, David Robinson and your good friend, Akeem Olajuwon. And you couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Okay. So, because you know why? Because I realized I wasn't like working as hard as I thought I was. Ah. I want to make some points about Zion. Okay. It's not run hard. It's not a diss. It's going to be a lesson from one great big man to another guy that could be a great big man. Does not run hard. I had the same problem my first second year. I thought I was running hard. Because Charles talked about this all the time. My talent going to get me 20. But when I start going to 20, 30, and 40, it's because I start doing certain things. He doesn't create easy points for himself. I saw a couple of times we had a couple of guys at the basket. He don't seal, right? He doesn't demand the ball. Like, you got a small guy, and we talk about all the time, barbecue chicken alert. Charles talk about all the time, you can't let a little guy guard you. And he doesn't have that look. Like, I'm not the greatest athlete ever, but I know a look when I see it. In every sport, I know a look. Tiger Woods had that look. Jack Nicholson had that look. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, 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 he just doesn't have that look, and he doesn't rebound. He does not rebound. I'm sitting there, and I'm watching, because, you know, Charles is on him, because, you know, that's Charles's category. I don't want to be on that hard, but he's not But ready you're yet. saying this also because he could because be the he could be the best player in the league. In the league. 
in the league. league. Yes, in not, the league. not not an all star, the, the best league. player so, in the league. Again, I was just like him, so I don't want to sit up here, you know, like I was just like that. But you know, people used to like pull me to the side. You know, I had a guy named Brad Seisler who used to always say, "Hey, man, okay, you had 24 points, but you're not as working as hard." And I'm like, "What? What are you talking about?" He's like, so once he decides to get that killer and and go for it. He's going to be a dangerous yeah, man. And you know what I like about that assessment is because, look, we had these guys on the air the other night, but you and Charles were both saying, I can't wait to get there and see him play in person. And when you sit, when you sit courtside and you watch, that's one of those things when you, when you're watching courtside, you, when you can say, he doesn't have the look, or he doesn't run hard. And he, I was, yeah, and I was look, very disappointed. As a youngster, Charles talks about this all the time. Of course, there's a great player, but they competed. In 88, 89, it was Bird and Magic. They competed, they fought. Like, if I see a guy that's bigger and better than me, I'm going for his neck every time. And I just didn't see that out of Zion tonight. And again, this well, is not a diss. Well, this is from well, a guy that has G14 classification. Uh, and I sat there and saw, and Charles, well, your assessment of him has, has well, been right. Just the same thing we said the other night. So it's nothing new. This guy. The thing that disturbs me is he's not a young kid. When Moses told me I was fat and lazy, I was a rookie. He's been in the league long enough. He's got two guys in the team that are better players to him, and they shouldn't be. Shouldn't be. He all. should be. He was the number one pick in the draft. He should be a better player than Ingram. We like Ingram, obviously. We love CJ. He should be the best player, and he's not even close. Number one, he's got to get in shape. I've told you, I've been very disappointed. He's averaging six rebounds a game. He's only had two double doubles all season. Man, if my grandma was alive, she used to call me after every game I didn't get double figure rebound and, and just kill me. A big guy that talented should never get less than 10 rebounds. He should be averaging 11, 12 rebounds a game. Easily. But he doesn't run the floor at all. When you watch the, actually watch the game, now they, the Pelicans deserve some blame. They got him playing point forward, which he can't play point forward because he doesn't move the ball enough. Uh, he doesn't run hard enough, and they don't go up and down fast enough. He should be a finisher, not a starter. 133 to 89 is your final. The Lakers advance good, to the championship That's game great. on Saturday. Again, that'll be the only game of the in-season tournament that does not count in the standings. It stands alone as the championship game, but does not count in the standings like the rest of them had, because then they'd be playing more games. So there you go. And they will take okay. on the Indiana Pacers. On Saturday, Chuck should be fined 30 million for cursing the Pelicans like this, and I'm a Lakers fan. Listen, man, you Chuck want 30 Shadamas. million? You want 30 million dollars? I give you 30 million. I mean, I still have another 30 million, but hey, <laughs> we'll be good. <laughs> when we come back, we'll look at that first semifinal game. The Central Division rivals, the Pacers, I and the Hawks going at it. Hey, what time is it, Tyrese? You got that handy? Yeah, I thought you did. We'll Tie time. Tie time. I see you.